up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna talk about tuners and tuning your guitar. It's still a challenging thing for beginners. The more you play guitar and just start to understand and, and develop your ear for the pitches of like the lowest string, the highest string, that is when you evolve into a musician and the tuning starts to become easier. I'm gonna go over some types of tuners that you can choose from and just the concept of tuning. The first thing is knowing the strings that you want to tune your guitar to, the notes, the pitches, right? So we have a real easy saying for standard tuning on guitar and it's Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie. I didn't, I'm not the author of that, it's just been around forever. Eddie 8 Dynamite Goodbye Eddie. So that's the first thing that'll help you just memorize what the open strings need to be. Now there's different types of tuners, but the basic concept is that it's picking up the vibrations. It knows the exact vibrations for each string. And when you strike your string, the tuner will actually, actually show you the note that you're trying to tune to. Now, if your guitar is so out, this is the tricky part. If your guitar is so out of tune, it might be closer to a wrong note. So that's where like developing your mu musician skills will help with that. Depending on the type of tuner I'm using, you get a needle that's right in the center of the guitar being in tune. Now the, the science of the string, the start of the string is here and then it's wound on the tuner for tension, right? So when you're tuning the guitar and let's say you've tuned this E note and you went sharp, meaning it's now higher than the E note. With a tuner, you don't wanna just tune it, lowering the pressure to perfect in tune because you've created slack on the string now. So what you wanna do is if you're too sharp with the note you're trying to tune to, you wanna actually go much lower. So you now create the ultimate tension to bring it up to the note. So that's something I didn't learn so I was playing for a couple years. So there's lots of different types of tuners. A lot of professionals will use a pedal tuner like this one. So this is an awesome pedal tuner that can go on your pedal board. It's from Diderio, great packaging too. We'll open it, oh yeah, Some nice foam. So there is the classic tuner pedal. So what's cool specifically about the pedal tuner is that really no one enjoys the sound of someone tuning their guitar, and especially in a professional gigging situation. So what a tuner pedal will do is when you activate it, it'll mute your guitar sound and you can just hit your notes and no one will hear it and then the readout will be on the pedal and you can tune. When you go to see some live music next time, you'll see guitar players, you know, looking down at their pedal board usually like that and they're doing all this stuff, but you don't hear the guitar. It's because they've activated the uh, tuner pedal. So this is a great gigging type of tuner. I actually personally have a preference for the tuners I've been using, which is the micro headstock tuner. Now, a guitar is a beautiful instrument. It's a beautiful looking instrument. There's a lot of opinions on a giant tuner on your headstock, kind of making it a little more ugly, not as classy looking. This particular um, micro headstock tuner, it's not even a clip on, it's just got this little adjustable clamp here and you can literally slide it on and you know, this is great, it's a black headstock, right? So if I pinch this right on here, you know, from the stage or from a gig, you, it's not changing the aesthetic of the guitar. You can't even tell that I have a tuner on it. Now you can, because I told you, but it's just hiding right on the back like that. So it's a great tuner. It's totally out of the way. You can't really see it. And then the other thing that I like about this tuner, as opposed to the pedal tuner, is the way it tunes. This tuner is picking up the vibrations off the vibrating neck. So I feel like it's even more, it's as accurate as you can get with a, you know, just easy, affordable tuner. So another tuner that they make, which is another really cool option, it's more of the clip-on style. So this is the newest tuner, it's called the Nexus 360. So this is a clip-on tuner, but you can still really, it's real subtle, you can hide it out of the way, and then you can flip it open to read like that, but then when you're done with it, you can, just kind of hide it out of the way there. But the coolest thing about this tuner is it tunes the same way as the vibrations, but what's different than this micro headstock tuner, this newest tuner, the Nexus 360, if you look at the back, it has a little port right there for charging. You know, I know everyone that's had a clip-on tuner has been annoyed when the battery only lasts a week sometimes. Uh, not on these, but 
Or let's say just the battery dies and you don't have an extra battery. You'll never have to worry about it with this new tuner. You just charge it. Now, if you're playing acoustic guitar, there is this sound hole tuner. And I'll just show you how that works real quick. All right, so now I have an acoustic guitar. We have the micro sound hole tuner. Great for acoustic, specifically for acoustic. And it will just go right on your sound hole, no problem. And I can see it right now. And I can actually look right down there and tune away. It's very cool. All right, so that was tuners. Hopefully you got an idea of what would work best for you. You know, whether you play acoustic or electric, or if you want one down on the stage or you want one on your guitar. They're all great. And you really need a tuner, even if you're really good at tuning by ear, using an official tuner helps the whole band being tuned together, right? So that's another important thing is if you're all using one specific frequency to tune to, then everyone sounds better together. So it's not just a cheat for your ear. You want to use a tuner in the studio. You want to use a tuner with a band. So thanks for watching. Uh, we've got links for all the killer Diderio stuff down below for you to check out. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you later.